Cassini is a mission that got started 23 years ago. It's a joint American-European mission to investigate Saturn and everything in orbit around Saturn. And liftoff of the Cassini spacecraft on a billion-mile trek to Saturn. We were launched in 1997. All systems are go. It took us seven years to cross the solar system. Saturn is 10 times farther away from the sun than the Earth is. So that is about a one and a half billion kilometers from the sun. We had to make use of what is called gravity assists by flying by some of the other planets in the solar system to steal a little bit of their momentum and send the spacecraft on. We looped around the inner solar system twice. It took us two years to do that. We flew by Venus twice. We flew by the Earth. That put us on a path for Jupiter. We encountered Jupiter at the end of the year 2000. And that set us on a course for Saturn. We got an orbit in 2004. And over the last nine years now, nearly a decade, we have been slowly monitoring and observing everything we can in the Saturn system. We've come to know it intimately in every scientific arena. We've gotten looks at Saturn's rings at a level of detail and over time scales that we didn't have a prayer of approaching with flyby missions. So now we've seen processes operating within the rings that speak to what likely happened in the protosolar nebula as the planets in our solar system are forming. And they tell us, in fact, what is going on in much larger disk systems, a trillion times larger. And those are the pinwheels of dust and gas and stars known as the spiral galaxies. Just from looking at Saturn's rings, we have learned the processes that apply to a whole host of physical systems on different scales throughout the cosmos. Then there's the atmosphere of Saturn where we've had the opportunity to see a major storm and we watched it be born, we watched it evolve, we watched it die. This informs us of how the meteorology in the giant planets like Saturn is similar to but also different than what we have here in our atmosphere. We've had the chance to look at the processes that have sculpted the surfaces of the moons in the Saturn system. The whole satellite system of Saturn is like a miniature solar system. So we stand to learn a lot about processes that bring about the birth and development of planets by looking at a system like Saturn's moons. And we hope to go on for uh, four more years.